Hi everybody, my name is Anya and welcome to my channel. Girls beauty gets questioned like all the time. Literally, we get judged every time we gain weight, when we get our hair short, or I don't know, doing like a new makeup or something. By the way, I am doing a new makeup and I hope you won't judge me for that. So there is no surprise that we actually not feel pretty every now and then. And this is something that happened to me recently. I realized re-watching some of my older videos and looking at my old photos, that I loved myself so much more when I got my hair longer and when I was actually skinnier. Or not skinnier, but definitely more fit because I've definitely gained weight throughout winter and now I'm kind of trying to lose it. And I realized that I'm 27, almost 28, and obviously my weight doesn't go away as quickly as it did before. <laughs> I'm definitely struggling, but that's okay. And recently I realized that I don't feel pretty. I know that it's not like a lot have happened and usually things like I don't feel pretty doesn't really mean a problem. So you didn't lose your money, you didn't lose somebody from your family or something like that. But it can definitely be frustrating and even depressing sometimes because I think that for women especially beauty and this like body confidence I would say is very important. Feeling this myself I decided to analyze a bit what helped me to overcome this and what helps me every day actually to look at myself in a different way. So if you're interested in a few tips, let's get started. Tell me everything you need to hear. So the first things first, I think is very important to realize that especially if you compare yourself to your past self, as I did, for example, when I rewatched some of my older videos, you need to know that this shouldn't be your frustration and it shouldn't be the reason you're frustrated. It should be the way that you inspire yourself. It especially works good because we are working with ourselves. We look up to ourselves in the past or at some point instead of looking up to other people because obviously looking up to other people can be even more frustrating because you don't even know if you're gonna be there, you know, in their body. In opposite, to comparing yourself to your past self, which means that you've already been there, you've already liked yourself this way. So this should rather be inspiring for you now and in the future instead of frustrating about something that's in the past because obviously you can all go back in time and make some other decisions. You can only think about what you're doing now and how you want to look or how you want to feel in the future. So instead of punishing yourself for something, for example, like I've gained weight, I've definitely gained weight. <laughs> Instead of saying that, okay, I'm not going to eat ever again because like I want to be like me in the past, I would rather say, okay, I know that I have been much more fit and I have loved myself so much more when I was in a better shape. So I would rather remember what I did and how I lived. Maybe I did more sports. Maybe I ate healthier. Maybe I walked every day for 10,000 steps. I would rather do those steps again in order to love myself again rather than keep punishing myself that I am eating, that I'm so ugly and everything, because that's definitely not productive. So instead of being sad about something that you've lost, be inspired that you've already been there, which makes you sure that you can be there again. So the next step is actually very easy and something that everybody tells you is that you should love yourself. Why is it amazing in this point is that it is the journey which is most important in life rather than just getting results. So in this case, I would say that while you're, I don't know, getting back in shape or while you're growing your hair or while you're improving your skincare or something like that, you still live your life and you still need to love yourself. For example, my case, I didn't like my hair and it was so sad to me to this point that I didn't like my hair so much that I didn't even want to style it every day because I thought it will still look ugly and I would still not like it. But that's not the case. You should love yourself at every single point and if you don't see yourself as beautiful, if you look at yourself and you're like, ah, oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna say that I look pretty force yourself, okay? Find the good in the bad. In terms of my body example, I'd say I took it as a lesson. So many things can happen and I will not be fit. I might get pregnant and I might get a child and I will be overweight. I might get a certain condition where the doctor would tell me to gain some weight. I will get into my senior years. It will definitely be so much harder to maintain fit. So I took it as a lesson to understand that no matter in what condition my weight is, I still have my body. And this 
body still walks, this body runs, this body swims. I can do so many things with my body. It's gonna be summer now. I'm gonna eat ice cream and that's totally fine because I do have the body to put this ice cream in. So let's take this as a little lesson for us that in no matter what condition we will be because life is so unpredictable, we will try and force if we need to, to love ourselves every day and to love our body and feel beautiful in it. And then the third tip that I have come through is understanding that you need to keep enhancing your beauty. Keep trying out something new because the journey is important. I will tell it again. The journey is important. And while you're trying to get into the best shape, while you're trying to grow your hair, while you're trying to keep up with your skincare to maybe have a better skin or something else, you need to keep feeling yourself as a woman. And I know that it's not all of us that love doing makeup or love wearing a lot of jewelry or styling our clothes or st styling our hair. But sometimes this is something that you can just try and do to feel yourself prettier and to feel yourself a little more different. As with my hair, I didn't like my hair length and I didn't know what to do, but I colored my hair. I tried something new for myself. I am trying new makeup because what it does give you is the fact that when you will get yourself into the position that you want to be, when you will get longer hair, when you will get better skin, when you will get fitter, you will be happy as it is. Obviously, you would want to be better and more beautiful, but you will not really want some changes. So while it is a journey, change yourself now. I don't know, add a little bit more jewelry. You can see I am like full on jewelry today. <laughs> Try some new makeups. Try some new hairstyles. Maybe something that you haven't tried before. Look at yourself under a different perspective. Just to know that you can be different. Maybe you want to stand on a skateboard. I don't know do that. Maybe this will actually help you with a tip number two when you will love yourself more. And no matter what tips you will try, and maybe you will try all of them, I hope it will just help you to feel better. And that was it for this video. Please give me a little like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.